In this video we shall talk about joins with aggregation and ranging functions usage. In the first task we have to show the subscriber who was the first library client. It asked the first subscriber to take a book. The result is that simple, but like with many other tasks, here we have several solutions. Let's start with MySQL and with the first variant with min function. Here we have several steps, and on the first one we have to detect minimal value of identifier of subscriptions. Using that data, on the second step we have to detect the identifier of a subscriber that corresponds to that identifier of that minimal subscription. And once we have this identifier, here it is, on the third step we have to transform this information about identifier into the subscriber name, and that's how we achieve the final result. With the second approach, we may use ordering. On the first step, here, we are selecting information from subscriptions table, then we are ordering that information by subscription ID, and we are selecting the first record. And we are selecting the identifier of a subscriber that corresponds to the first record. And on the second step, once we have that identifier, here it is, we may transform that number into a subscriber name. With Microsoft SQL Server the approach is the same, we may either use min function or ordering. With this approach we are finding out the minimal ID of a subscription, then we are selecting the identifier of a subscriber that corresponds to that ID, and then we are selecting the subscriber name that corresponds to this already known ID. With the next approach we are ordering the information from subscriptions table by this field in ascending direction. Then we are taking the first record only and then we are taking the subscriber ID from that first record. And once we have that subscriber ID, here it is, we may transform that information into the subscriber name. And once again with the Oracle, we may find out the first subscription, the subscriber from that subscription and the name of that subscriber. Or with this approach we may order subscriptions by subscription ID in ascending direction, then we have to take the subscriber ID here and having that subscriber ID we may find out the subscriber name. By the way, this syntax for Oracle is kinda outdated, so please try rewriting this query to the newest versions of Oracle database. And now let's quickly analyze which variant is faster. As you see here, for MySQL and Oracle the first approach is faster, but for Microsoft SQL the second one is. And once again, please remember that in other situations, with other data, with other approaches, this picture may significantly change. This is not a rule that this variant will be faster for MySQL and this will not. They may easily change. And of course that's true for any DBMS. In the second task we have to show the subscriber, or subscribers if many, who spent the less time reading a book, and we shall take into account only returned books. This is the expected result, and let's see how to get it. For MySQL, in the first variant we shall use subquery and ordering. This is our first step, and here we are taking into account only returned books, and we are selecting the difference between start and finish of book reading process. We are ordering that time periods by length in ascending direction, and then we are selecting the first record, it has the shortest time period. On the second step here we are selecting information about subscribers, about time periods, and then we are applying this condition telling us to take into account only inactive subscriptions and only subscriptions with the length of time equal to that minimum we've already found here. So here is our final result. Or we may use another approach with common table expression and mean function. Here within the common table expression we are selecting information about subscribers and the time periods, all the information. Then we have to find out the minimal value of this column, here it is. And on the final step we are taking this information, so here it is, here's the whole information, and we are selecting only those lines with time periods equal to this minimum. So this is how we get our final result. With the third approach we may also use common table expression and ranking function. Here we are selecting the information about our subscribers, about time periods, and we are ranking the time periods by their length. And we see that this range is the shortest one. 
If you want another ranking approach, it has like 1, 2, 3, 4, not 1 and then 4. You may use another ranking function. Please find out that function yourself. And then in the main query part, we are selecting all this information, but applying this condition. So we see rank 1 here and rank 1 here. And that is how we get our final result. With Microsoft SQL Server, we may follow the same approach with subquery and ordering. We may select information about time periods lengths from subscriptions table. Then we are ordering that information in ascending direction and we are taking into account only the first record. That is how we get the shortest period. And then we are selecting this information, here it is, here is the result, and we are applying a condition that a subscription should not be active and its length should be equal to that length we've already found, to the shortest one. And that's how we get our final result. Or we may use common table and mean approach. First, we have to produce all the information about our subscribers and the periods of their books reading. Then we have to find out the shortest period, here it is. And then we are using this information produced by common table expression, here it is. And we are applying that condition, that time period length should be exactly as that minimal value. And this is our final result. Or we may use common table expression and rank. Here we are selecting information about our subscribers, about lengths of periods of their books reading, and we are ranking that periods by their lengths. And then we are using the information provided by common table expression, here it is, and we are applying the condition that the time period should be the shortest one. And that's how we get our final result. And with Oracle we may follow those the same approaches. With the first one we have to find out the shortest time period, here it is. And then we have to select the information and apply the condition that the time period should be equal to that shortest we've already found. Or with the second approach we may produce such a result that contains almost the final data. Then we have to find out the minimal value from here. And then we are using the same data set and we are applying a condition telling us that the length of a time period should be equal to that minimal value. And that's how we get our final result. Or we may use common table expressions with ranking. We produce information about subscribers, time periods, and we are ranking those time periods by their length. Then we only have to select from this data the line or lines with the shortest period of time. Here it is. And that's how we get our final result. In the third task, we have to show for each subscriber the list of books he has taken during his first visit to the library. Uh, this is the expected result and please pay attention here. You may see that here we have to use some functions to transform several rows in a column into one single row. Let's start with MySQL. Here on the first step, on the innermost query, we are looking for minimal value of subscription start date for each subscriber. So here is the result. Then on the second step, we have to produce the list of books a subscriber has taken during his first visit to the library. So here is the result. Then on the third step, we have to transform these IDs into books titles. Then on the final step, we have to use such function to eliminate this line's duplication and to place that value here after comma. And that's all, that's our final result. With Microsoft SQL Server, we shall use common table expressions approach. On the first step, we have to produce the information about all subscribers and their first visits to the library, the minimal date, so we use min here. On the second step, knowing that date, we have to produce the list of books a subscriber has taken during that first visit. So here it is, here it is, here it is. Then on the third step, we have to transform these IDs into books names. And on the final step, we have to eliminate such line duplications, placing that value here. By the way, you may rewrite this query, this part, using modern syntax for Microsoft SQL Server. That is much easier than this approach. But this is classics and it works on almost any version of Microsoft SQL Server. And with Oracle, we shall use Microsoft SQL Server approach with common table expressions. 
On the first step we have to produce the list of subscribers and the information about their first visits to the library. Then taking into account these dates we have to produce the list of books each subscriber has taken during his first visit to the library. Then on the third step we have to transform these IDs into books titles. And on the final step we have to eliminate such line duplications placing this value here. And let's look how fast does it work. We have only one solution for each DBMS, but nevertheless you may see how Oracle is faster than Microsoft SQL Server and Microsoft SQL Server is faster than MySQL. But once again, this is not a rule and with other dataset the situation may look different. In the next task we have to show for each subscriber the first book he has taken from the library. So not a list of books, but the only book here. Now this is the expected result and obviously this column should contain only one value. For MySQL with the first variant we shall use four steps without ranking. This is the step one. For each subscriber we are selecting the first date of his visit to the library. Then on the second step we have to find out the minimal subscription ID for that visit to the library. And here is the result. Then on the next step we may use that subscriptions IDs to find out books IDs. And on the final step we have to transform these books IDs into titles. And that's all. With the second approach we may use two steps with ranking. This common table expression produces such a result. Here we see our subscriber ID, the start date of a subscription, the subscription ID, the corresponding book ID and we see two ranks, 1 and 2. The first rank produces this information. You may see that ranking restarts each time a subscriber changes. The second ranking produces this result. And you may see that ranking restarts not only with each subscriber, but also with each new date of a subscriber's visits to the library. So now for each subscriber, this is how we find out it, we have to find out his first visit to the library. Here it is. And here is the first condition, here is the second condition. And we already have corresponding books IDs for each such visit. And we may easily transform those books IDs into books titles. And that's the final result. Here is a task for you. Please pause the video and try to write a query with three steps with rank and grouping. And you may follow such a hint. For Microsoft SQL Server we also have several variants of solutions. In the first one we use four steps without ranking. So the first common table expression produces the following result. For each subscriber we now know his first visit to the library date. With the second step, knowing that date, we may find out the minimal value of a subscription he has made during that date. On the next step, knowing that IDs of subscriptions, we may easily transform them into books IDs. And on the final step here, we only have to transform these IDs into books titles. And that's all, that's the final result. Or we may use this two-step approach with a ranking. Here we are selecting the ID of a subscriber, the start date of a subscription, the subscription ID, the book ID, and then we use two ranks. This first one allows us to distinguish one subscriber from another, and this second rank allows us to distinguish the first visit of a subscriber to the library from some other visits. Then on this step we only have to use these values, here they are, and we have to use corresponding books IDs and we can easily transform them into books titles and that's the final result. Or we may use another approach with three steps, ranking and grouping. Here for each subscriber and each subscription start date we are selecting minimal subscription ID. And this ranking follows start date order. So you see for this subscriber this is the earliest date and it's on the first place, this is the next date, it's on the second place, the next date on the third place and so on. Then we only have to select the earliest visits for each subscriber. Here they are. And we know corresponding subscriptions IDs. Here they are. And we transform that subscriptions IDs into books IDs. Here they are. And now we only have to transform these books IDs into books titles and that's our final result.
The solution for Oracle is exactly the same as the solution for Microsoft SQL Server. With the first approach, on the first step we have to produce the list of subscribers and the information about their first visits to the library. On the second step we have to find out the minimal value of a subscription ID during that first visit to the library. And here is that information. On the third step we have to transform these IDs of subscriptions to these IDs of books. And on the final step we have to transform these IDs into titles. And that's all. Or we may use this two steps approach with ranking. The main idea here is to have two sequences. One should restart with each subscriber. The second sequence should restart not only with each subscriber, but with each date within a subscriber. And then we should use the information about the first record here and here, here and here, and that's our first visit of each subscriber to the library. And we already have the ID of corresponding books here, and we only have to transform that IDs into books titles. And that's the final result. And with the final approach here, we may use three steps with ranking and grouping. So for each subscriber and simultaneously for each date, we have to find out the minimal value of subscription ID. And then for each subscriber, we have to rank his visits to the library. So this is the first visit, the second visit, the third visit, and so on. For this subscriber, this is the first, the second, for this the first, the second, the third, and so on. Then we use only first visits of each subscriber, here they are, and knowing these subscriptions IDs, we may transform them into books IDs. And then knowing these books IDs, we may transform them into books titles. And that's all. If we compare the performance of these solutions, we may see the following picture. For Microsoft SQL Server, the difference is not so significant. For Oracle, it's already two times. And see the difference for MySQL, it's huge. And this is an advanced task for you. Please conduct an experiment and find out how fast is this variant for MySQL.